bacon, egg, sausage, no, bacon, eggs, potatoes, avocado, toast. I need a coffee. I just yawned. Crazy. My question to y'all would be, what is the greatest sports team that you can think of? The Chiefs? Yeah. I think the obvious one for me would be like the Chicago Bulls growing up, you know, the Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, later on Dennis Rodman, Kukoc, all those guys. I'm a big baseball fan, so for me, the 90s Braves were like awesome. And they, they only won one championship, but they were like in the World Series every year of the 90s, it seems like. It was teamwork that, you know, that, that put them there and who they surrounded themselves with, who they put themselves with. In 1 Corinthians 12 says this, If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has placed parts in the body, every one of them, just as He wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. Your hand can't be your foot, your eye can't be your knee, you, you know, and we've got mechanics doing mechanic things. We've got suspension guys doing suspension guy things. We have a, a motor guy running around here doing motor stuff. There he is, he's straight ahead. We've got riders doing their thing and they, they get the spotlight. Ultimately, they can't do what they do without the rest of us doing what we need to be doing. Do what you're called to do. Work with each other. I love how we mesh. I love how we work together. Keep it up. Keep crushing it because you guys have been doing that. Let's go out and, and be a team. So, Y'all ready? Let's go. Father God, we thank you. comfortable with the jumps and stuff now we just have to put the turns together to do a good fast lap now we're going to call it one so let's see if we can make it work
up the radiator pretty good. Yeah, tweak there, put a new one on, and we're good to go. No, no more breaking. Yeah. Well, they call that job security, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> they definitely do. Honestly, the track wasn't that much different. It was just like a little slick in a few spots. What was your lap? I was two spots behind you. I was one tenth off. Dude, the, the practice ended so quick. Because, dude, the laps are a minute 40. I didn't get none. You're getting pumped. I don't know why I'm getting pumped. Probably holding your breath. I don't know. I don't even know. Yeah. Plus, I know I can qualify 25 to 30 thing like that. I just can't hold on to the bike. I'm struggling. Dude, that triple is edgy. Right out of the turn? Yeah. yeah. On the hit of one, two times. Really? Right when I passed you in that rhythm, when I tripled out of that rhythm, and then I got cross rut going up the triple and had to roll it. I might have been able to do it, but I didn't want to do it freaking like one foot on. I wasn't riding it anymore. It rained a lot, so it got a little bit slick, but it was honestly still good. So, uh, you know, we kind of just have to see how much they prep the track. That one, it was like, it was so gnarly. The whoops just had like one gnarly rut suit in the middle. The whole track was like, we were pretty much dragging pegs up like every face. So it was pretty gnarly, but yeah. Good. Lots going on. Practice done. Qualifying is now officially done. It seems as though Every single time qualifying came up, the rain would hit. It was dry, dry for, for the, going out for practice. They go out, and then all of a sudden the rain hits. Then it gets dry again. The track looks perfect. <laughs> she went right underneath the, It's okay. The it's okay. She's prettier than I am anyway. So The track is like... Perfect, it's primo. And then they all get on the line and it pours. I don't think anyone turned a faster lap for the, the 250s actually ran Q2. I don't think anyone in A, B, or C turned a faster lap than they did in the first qualifying session. Uh, Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, what, number two? Yeah. Hopefully tonight he can go straight through, no LCQ, but if we do have the LCQ, and it's at least flip-flop back to the way it was so we don't have that back-to-back, -back, so he should be able to run a little bit longer in it. Just hoping he can get straight through, and when he's in the main, just run it down. I do believe he's sitting 14th, so that'll give him seventh gate pick in heat one. Should be a good time. Good luck, brother. Thank you, man. It rained uh, before the second qualify, and I land on a soft spot. I had a little crash, and so I land over my foot. It kind of hurts a little bit, but we're racing Supergirls, baby, so let's go for it. Whoa, buddy. Am I good? Yeah, we did okay. Oh, yeah. I'm doing good. I um, Is this like a re recap? Well, I didn't make it, so that's that. I mean, no excuses. I just need to get better at the first qualifier. I didn't really get a clean lap for next week. My goal is to get out front and practice and just so I can get a clean lap. Put the hammer down in the first one so I don't have a situation like today where the second one I really wasn't able to get a time with the, the weather. So do better, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I, don't, I don't really have much to say for this one because I'm not in there and um, I just I know what I need to work on. So we're going to do that and uh, have some fun this week riding and practicing and then put it in the show in Alabama and go for it.
and even then I stuck in and made a lot of this. So hopefully you can get somewhere but not too far this time. But Pretty gnarly, uh, got a terrible start and I stuck on the inside again. And good, I think I was running 10th for a while and felt good kind of staying in that pace. And then uh, I went down and then my bike was all tweaked up and I went down again after that. Feeling all right, just a little weak and still not into shape yet just because I haven't had uh, much time on the bike and stuff and didn't really get my boot camp in. But a little bummed, but just gotta remember this is I think my fourth ever Supercross race and and my rookie 450 season this year. Good learning day. Looking forward to just get more time under my belt. Race my way into shape and yeah, really looking forward to the end of the season and yeah, looking forward to it.